we are back to our uh, little test for the muzzle devices this time we acquired three different uh, types of the muzzle devices we have uh, two flash suppressors from the Echo 93 and uh, one jet brake from the SRVV that's a Russian company uh, what is different about that one this is uh, for 14-1 uh, left-handed thread So we started with our darkroom test and uh, we ran the test for all three different uh, muzzle devices. Uh, the first one uh, on the plate was SRVV uh, jet brake and predictably uh, that jet brake produced some flash and there's no surprise because of the construction of this brake. Uh, it was exactly the same with a 5.45 by 39 version. So this one is 7.62 but the effect is the same, you're going to have some flames from it uh, that's almost unavoidable uh, with that construction uh, of the muzzle device uh, and uh, at this point I would say that this is always a trade-off you either have a good compensation and uh, the very good control of the muzzle or you're going to have uh, some uh, extremely well uh, flash suppressing but uh, the, the muzzle device is going to lack uh, on the performance for the controlling the of the flash signature. During our uh, side wave pressure test, uh, we put our uh, AK operator's head on a little bit, a little bit uh, stand, and uh, that head was just basically spinning from the from the side wave uh, pressure. Again, this is mainly because of how the holes are cut out in the brake, and it pushes the blast off to the side so uh, again very predictable behavior uh, and it is what it is on uh, another note that I will tell about this brake this brake is extremely heavy it adds a lot of weight uh, to the system up front uh, this is not necessarily what you want to have because this is uh, even more weight right now to control uh, on a rifle uh, in a you know very extended posi position at the, at the end of the muzzle so uh, these are some things, trade-offs, which we have to take into the account when uh, looking for that brake and thinking about that brake. But definitely uh, that muzzle brake controls the muzzle rise. Uh, on our little test with, with the measuring tape, tape it performed very, very well. And when running that muzzle brake uh, against the measuring tape, uh, it produced uh, outstanding results on the, on the muzzle rise control. But uh, please, when deciding about the brakes, think about the whole whole thing, uh, what you're getting, and uh, what what is uh, pros and cons of the muzzle device uh, which you are thinking about uh, acquiring. Now we had uh, also two flash suppressors uh, from the Echo 93 company. Uh, they are uh, they're basically the construction is a little bit different. As you can see, that one. Uh, is open uh, it has these three prongs and uh, there is no closure at the end of the muzzle device and then we have another model which uh, has more prongs and uh, there is a closure at the end and uh, again uh, I know from uh, previous uh, flash suppressors uh, which we, we had it basically this one uh, is extremely well with the flash suppressing uh, there is almost no light signature on it uh, performs very very well also on the side wave pressure test I have not noticed uh, anything special you know it's not like uh, uncomfortable for the teammate to run it uh, there is some side side wave pressure coming out of it but not that much Uh, this is the second flash of pressure we had from uh, Echo 93. Uh, it's got a closed end, kind of that bird cage build to it. Um, it worked extremely well in the dark room. Not a whole lot of flash. There was a small flicker, if you want to call it that. And then uh, the side pressure was was pretty good too. It was a little bit, but not enough that it would uh, bother somebody to be hit by it.
on our tape, our uh, you know our compensating test on our tape measure. Had a little bit of climb, but that's what you can expect out of a flash hider over a muzzle brake. And I was running uh, all these uh, different muzzle devices uh, on uh, our short uh, range, uh, trying to engage uh, multiple targets uh, with the double tapping. And uh, predictably, I would say that the jet brake produced the best results. Uh, I had the best muzzle control with that brake. Uh, however, that uh, flash suppressor uh, was surprisingly, uh, you know, with the mild recoil. Uh, and uh, both these Econ 93 uh, flash suppressors did very well. I would say from the close distance, uh, if you can really control the, the rifle uh, and do the follow-up shots quickly, uh, it wasn't really you know uh, anything annoying, and the, the muzzle control uh, was fairly good. Not as good as on the jet brake, but as I said, uh, these are different tools for a different kind of job. And what is beautiful about the AK. Uh, it's extremely simple to change these uh, devices, muzzle devices on the fly. So maybe uh, during the day uh, you can run basically a jet brake because at this point it doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, when you are afraid and concerned with uh, the flash suppressing, you know, the blinding effect on your eyes, uh, you want to switch to the flash suppressor at night, well, there is nothing holding you back from it. All you need is a little screwdriver, push the pin, and uh, in the you know matter of seconds, you are changing the the muzzle device on the AK. So I would say uh, it, it maybe you know add to your package a good flash suppressor, have a nice muzzle brake, and be ready for any kind of job. Uh, that's it, guys. Let us know if you have any questions about these muzzle devices. We'll be more than happy to answer it either underneath of that video or uh, on our Facebook. Thanks for watching.